inbreeding among African cheetahs is putting further strain on a species already under threat of extinction, and that has caught the attention of Larissa Slandley. With this morning walks with cheetahs, she hopes to create an algorithm that will help in telling whether two or more of the cats are related. So the FIT software, um, the algorithms that have been written for it can already uh, pick up on uh, species, individual, age and sex um, and it can, for example, tell individual with a 99% accuracy and everything else with an over 90% accuracy already. So on top of that we are trying to write uh, an algorithm that would pick up on the relatedness of individuals. As well as being non-invasive, the FIT software is affordable and quick. A smartphone camera and a ruler is all that's needed to collect data from a paw print with a computer algorithm doing the rest. It basically looks at certain points in the paw and it then calculates different um, distances and angles and areas and the, the ratio between them always stays the same, so it doesn't matter on what substrate the paw print was left or at what um, gait the animal was moving. Um, the ratio between these points always stays the same. To further develop and test the FIT software, Slanley is working with a Namibian charity which gives her access to a large group of captive cheetahs. When fully validated, the software could be invaluable for cheetah conservationists, for example, when negotiating with governments or landowners for corridors to encourage free movement and when releasing captive cheetahs back into the wild. Because they suffer from very poor genetic variation, I think it's really, really important to start looking at um, relatedness of individuals so that we, if um, a cheetah has got to be translocated or released somewhere, that we choose a release site where he's not related to the other cheetahs. Capable of sprinting up to 75 miles per hour in short bursts, the cheetah is ranked as the fastest mammal on land. Cheetah populations are however plummeting. New research published this month estimated that optimistically there are about 6,800 African cheetahs left in the wild. Wildlife experts are calling for the big cat to be reclassified to endangered, up from vulnerable, among threatened species to give it greater environmental protection. Leslie Marungu, CGTN.